Hey guys, I'm Bonefoot, and holy shit, Nino Kuni 2 was just announced at the PlayStation Experience 2015, and I just had to come and talk about this, this is huge news to me. I'll start this by saying that the first Nino Kuni, this game right here, is at the very least in my top 20 games of all time. Might even be in the top 10 if I really sat down and thought about it. What originally piqued my interest about the game was the fact that Studio Ghibli, the animation studio which I'm a huge fan of, was working on the game, making the animated cutscenes and supervising the whole visual style of it to give it that Ghibli look. I was already aware of the game's existence when it was just a Japan only game, and then when it was later announced that it would be coming to the west after all, it quickly became the most anticipated game of all time for me, not even kidding. I was counting the days to its release for so long and when it finally came out in early 2013, it exceeded all my expectations, I freaking loved it. The gameplay, the cutscenes, the music, I just loved everything about it from top to bottom. I think visually it's the most gorgeous game I've ever played. The Studio Ghibli look and character designs work incredibly well with the cel shaded graphics and it's just ah. Uh, every time I went into a new area I was just drooling at how pretty everything looked. I was so into the game that I played through it twice in a row right away, which is something I've never done with any other JRPG. Level 5 did an amazing job with it and has since become one of my favorite developers. Cut to almost 3 years later and the game is still constantly on my mind. Just 2 weeks ago I had this dream where I was watching some gaming event and they were announcing upcoming Nino Kuni DLC. It was pretty heartbreaking to wake up from that. I didn't think the game was ever going to get a sequel. Since Studio Ghibli is not doing very well these days, I thought it would just remain as this amazing standalone game, with a pretty unique claim to fame as one of the only games they ever worked on. Then yesterday I was watching the PlayStation Experience 2015 keynote. It was getting a little boring, nothing I was too interested in was being announced, so I was getting a bit sidetracked and I started making sandwiches. Then I heard Adam Boy start saying something about level 5 which of course immediately made me drop everything as I scrambled back to my computer to watch what was going on and a trailer had already started playing. I missed a lot of the audio and what was said in the trailer so I didn't know for sure what it was. I was just looking at it and thinking okay this looks super familiar to Nino Kuni but there's no way. The possibility of a sequel still didn't even register in my mind. I was just like, okay, this is some new game they're making with a similar visual style. Then they showed one of the creatures and I was still like, there's no way. I didn't believe it until the very end when the title started appearing and at that point I was freaking ecstatic. Not in a million years would I have expected this to be announced. It had already cemented in my mind as one of those holy grail games I'd really want to see get made, but didn't think was ever going to. Off the top of my head I can only think of two other games that would get me as excited as this, and those are Grandia 4 and Red Dead 3. After the announcement nothing else mattered anymore in the PlayStation experience, so I just set it aside and started re-watching the trailer over and over. As I was watching it again and listening to what was being said, it was clear that it was a new story with new characters which is awesome. But also that Ding Dong Dell, the first city you visit in the first game was going to be a big part of it, so I immediately had to boot up the first game and just compare the locations I recognized from the trailer and see if I could piece anything together from that. The main character says he's the king of Ding Dong Dell which sparked all kinds of theories about the story and characters in my head. In the first game the king of Ding Dong Dell is King Tom Tildrum, otherwise known as just the Cat King. The trailer uses all this language like this is where it all begins and a true king is born and I'll build a kingdom, which made me think it could possibly be a prequel that tells the origin story of Ding Dong Dell. I even thought the main character could be the Cat King from the first game when he was young. They're both anthropomorphic cats and share the same family name. But then I remembered the Cat King had a counterpart in the real world that was just a regular cat, which would make it a bit weird that he would have ever looked so human. And also in the trailer Ding Dong Dell looks much bigger and more fortified and castle-like than in the first game, which makes me think that it likely takes place after the first game, and the main character is somehow just a descendant of the Cat King. 
I've never been the type of person who analyzes trailers for every little piece of information and then comes up with theories about the game. All these thoughts were just running through my mind when I was watching it and I thought it would be fun to share them. Outside of the story, the trailer tells us quite a few things. First of all, Cho Hishaishi, the composer of the first game and almost every Hayao Miyazaki film is back. Hell yeah! We don't hear too much music in the trailer, just one track that sounds like it could just be the background music of some more intense cutscenes, and then a very short sample of what could maybe be the main theme at the very end. It's hard to say, but I'm super excited that he's back and I can't wait to hear more. The trailer doesn't show any animated cutscenes and also doesn't mention Studio Ghibli at all, which leads me to believe that they might not be involved this time, which would be understandable considering their current status. However, Yoshiyuki Momose from Studio Ghibli does make a return and is at least doing the character design. In the first game he was the director of animation and the character designer. It's not clear yet whether he's just independently working with level 5 or if the whole studio is also involved. It would be really cool to have those cheaply animations again, but honestly, as long as the game keeps the look of the first game, which it does, I'm gonna be happy either way. The cheaply animations in the first game were super nice, but they weren't all that frequent or long, so I could live without them in the second game. The game is going to be exclusive to the PS4, I can't wait for the first gameplay videos, it's gonna be so pretty. Um, the trailer doesn't say anything about when it's going to come out, so I'm guessing it's still a few years away. That's all the little details I could pick up from the trailer, which for now is the only source of information on the game. I scoured through Namco Bandai's website, Level 5's website, and the website dedicated to this game, and there's nothing anywhere yet besides the trailer. But you can subscribe to Namco Bandai's email list at ninokunigame.com if you want them to keep you updated on the game via email. So go and do that if you're as excited about it as I am. That's all I have to say for now, I just had to make this video to share my hype, because I can't wait for this game. So stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching, take care.